welcome to F3TV. Today's goal is to go through shovel flag making. We've had a lot of interest in uh, some custom shovel flags that have been floating around some of the workouts. And what we want to do is spread the information to some of our groups in, in other states, other regions, so that everyone has the opportunity to make a shovel flag that they can be very proud of. Uh, the trick that we're going to go through today is how to make a flagpole sit perfectly dead center and perfectly straight coming out of the tip of a uh, of a shovel. There's been a number of uh, trial and error and there's been some things we found that work and that's what we're going to talk about today. If you're going to do this, first thing you need to do is go to Lowe's or Home Depot, buy a shovel. Uh, the ones we use are the, frankly, the cheapest ones. They're about $5.99 at Home Depot. The ones at Home Depot have a black finish. Same shovel at Lowe's. It has more of a silver finish or more of a pewter finish, but it's the exact same thing. Likewise, uh, both Lowe's and Home Depot sell the exact same flag set. The one at Home Depot has silver poles, the one at Lowe's has white poles. So, you know, get whichever one you want. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about what tips and tricks we can use in order to make this process very easy. Uh, I've got a lot of confidence that anyone out there is going to be able to accomplish this and come up with a shovel that they're, they're quite pleased with. The first step we're going to do is start off the shovel handle so we can we can get that uh, perfectly dead center hole. In order to do that we're going to need to cut this rounded part off because actually that rounded part is not dead center. Uh, it also makes it very hard to, to drill the hole accurately. So we're going to take that off, we're going to cut that rounded cap about in half. Uh, in order to do this I've been using a, uh, a, cheap, a very cheap miter box, a plastic one. It's, two dollars at the store and we're going to just line it up and cut that center piece off. Cut about half that cap off. So if you want to take a look, we've cut off just this little little cap here and again that's about the top half of the rounded part. Just uh, Not the whole thing, just a piece and our goal is to get a nice flat starting point. If you want to, if you have a um, wood file, a, a general wood file, a mill bastard or what have you, uh, if you want to, you can just saw that off or flatten that out a little bit if you have a, a burr. The next thing we're going to do is find the uh, dead center of this. I've been doing it mostly by eye. I, it doesn't have to be NASA precision, but you really want this to be as close as you can. And so what I do is I uh, try and eyeball the outer points of the, of the circle, uh, the top and the bottom of the circle, and then we're going to take a straight edge, connect them, and see how close we are to dead center. Really? Okay, you probably can't see it, but what I've done is I've basically made an X, found what I think is uh, pretty darn close to dead center on that top, the next step is also very important. You'd be surprised. I went through several shovels thinking it wouldn't be that important, but you're going to want to take a handheld drill and get a starter hole as close to the center as possible. That's why we made that X, is to help us get the starter hole just right. There, that's going to be just fine. Uh, for this process, uh, you know, a handheld drill works great for this, this initial part. When we start drilling the bigger hole, we're going to find that we need a more powerful drill, uh, at least an electric drill, preferably a more powerful electric drill, because we're going to really be getting some torque uh, to get as much wood out as we need to get out. The next thing we're going to do, uh, the real trick to this process, is uh, the, the guide. This is basically what we've come up with. This is a piece of uh, aluminum angle, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it's a couple feet long, and this is going to help us get a dead center hole with the drill. Uh, this piece you can get in the uh, PVC section of, of Home Depot. This is a trap adapter with nut, uh, inch and a half. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape this. I know it sounds kind of odd, but we're going to tape this onto this, uh, this piece of aluminum angle and that's going to allow us 
to guide our, our drill uh, perfectly straight. So we're going to tape that on there, then we're going to tape the drill to the top of here, and it's going to be essentially uh, the same thing as a drill press for this awkward set of conditions we're working with. Okay, we're going to run through some of these parts at the end here to help you get, make sure you get the right thing. But like I said, this is called a trap adapter with nut. We're going to take some duct tape and attach that to our aluminum angle. Get it on there as, as tight as we can. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ready to mount the shovel into the vise. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and install this piece onto the shovel handle, let it slide all the way down. And the reason we did that this time is because we're going to put some duct tape around the tip here in order to keep it from splitting. If it does split, not the end of the world, we can fix it. But I do want to minimize the splitting. But if we tape it before we put this piece on, uh, the fit is too tight. We won't be able to get them over the duct tape. So we're going to take uh, just some regular uh, duct tape here. pull a piece off, wrap it around, that's going to help minimize splitting and if it, you know, if it starts it will at least hold it together to some extent. Next we're going to go ahead and mount this into the uh, vise. I guess it might be possible if you had a couple people Holding it, it might be possible to do it without the vise. I think it'd be a lot harder. So, you know, fortunately, I've got the table vise here. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and mount the drill onto the angle and get that ready to go. Uh, one thing you might want to pay attention to, I've, I've set this up. It works great with my drill. Uh, it just so happens that the top of the drill is at the perfect height to make this all work. If you have a different drill, you might want to make some adjustments. Uh, if you're just buying your first drill, I would recommend you get a, a nice corded power drill. I really do like the DeWalt's. This one in particular might be a little stronger than you need, but we'll go through some other models. Uh, maybe at the end we'll have a list there. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape this down so that it is secure with the guide. And I've got two pieces of duct tape. Uh, you might want to use strong duct tape. I, I find that the stronger the tape, the better. Uh, some of that cheaper, lighter weight duct tape works, but it doesn't work great. So here we have it. We're ready to go. Uh, the drill is set up. This piece is going to guide us in straight, and we're going to let it go. You're going to really want to hold on tight because the torque is, is pretty darn strong once this piece starts drilling in. Okay, in terms of total depth, we went in basically the, uh, the depth of the, the top end of the drill bit. So we're going to go ahead and remove this guide. And we're ready to see how well we did. So if you want to go ahead and pull the poles out of your flag set, you're going to see there's a male and female parts. And go ahead and put that together. Uh, at least two pieces would be great. And you're going to see this is going to fit into a three quarter inch hole just fine. We're going to see how we did. Okay, I've got a fair number of these angles sitting around, so what we're going to do is take this piece and see how close to true we are uh, by putting it in there and, and kind of rolling it around. You know, that one is pretty darn good. It, it's not perfect. Um, looks like we're leaning a little bit this way. Uh, what we're going to do is drill it out just a little bit more uh, and, and open that hole up a little bit so that we can 
have some room for adjustment. And once it comes time to glue, it frankly doesn't matter if we've got that hole a little bit bigger and have some wobble, we'll fix that. Okay, we've got that hole just a little bit bigger and that's gonna give us enough play so when it comes time to set the epoxy, it's gonna be just right. Okay, so go ahead and put your flag pieces together, your poles, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bottom piece and we're gonna cut it off uh, at just an, enough depth so that uh, we can glue it into the, into the shovel. So if we stick it in there, we've decided we want just a little bit sticking out. Take a piece of tape, we're gonna mark where we're gonna cut it. We're just gonna start cutting. And this is gonna be the piece that we epoxy into the tip of the shovel handle. Okay, so what we've done, we've cut that uh, tip off the one piece of pole. We're going to see that it fits nicely onto the other pieces of pole. And we're going to see that it fits down nice into the tip of the shovel handle. And we can see the, the project starting to take shape. Next step, again, very important. We're going to put some uh, tape over this, uh, where these two pieces meet, because we don't want to get any epoxy on there. If that happens, well, we've got a problem. So we're going to tape that to keep make sure we don't get any epoxy in there. 